Productivity Arata. Everybody desires success. Yes, of course, because that's the very definition of success, is to achieve what we want. Failure, on the other hand, is by definition getting where we do not want. Unfortunately, many people make five mistakes that delay or make it impossible to get where they want. And these people are behaving in such a way to be a magnet for failure rather than success. Here is the list of the five things that they need to change. Thinking small. Small thinkers want to save a few cents in exchange for several hours wasted. Big thinkers will be spending their hours to make big savings or, better yet, making much bigger gains. Just to illustrate, imagine a struggling store that is not selling enough and the small thinker who would be managing here, he will be, you know, looking at the lights that they can turn off to save electricity or start charging a few cents for the gift bag or gift wrap. They may even say that if you want to pay with your credit card, then you have to pay the card processing fee. People who would be thinking big would do differently. They would spend more time thinking about how to attract more customers into the store, how to improve the selection of the products to have more interesting items, and also will be training their team for better service and also will negotiate with their suppliers to get lower prices. Not looking forward. Those who succeed in life will not be attached to the past. They'll be looking to the future, to the improvements that can be made. They are investigating new ideas and how to test different approaches and see what could bring better results. These people develop the visionary ability and the skills to take new actions toward progress. And in doing so, they also surround themselves with people who are enthusiastic about innovation and they will obviously be reaping all the rewards of that proactivity. The person who does not succeed is the person who just looks at the past, longing for the good old days. And they will be mumbling all the time about how things used to be good and now they're getting worse and worse and worse. They are longing for the impossible, which is to time travel and to restore the state of things as they used to be in the past. They are very attached to values that no longer exist and they are reluctant to accept that the world changes. It is difficult for these people to adapt, to learn, to become a better version of themselves every day because they are left behind and they are seeking comfort in the company of all the retrograde people who are big complainers all together saying how things used to be better in the past. Failing to distinguish between expenses and investments Successful people know which things are important and that promote prosperity. They know how to acquire resources at good prices and also at the right time. They know how to invest in new technologies. They are constantly taking courses and training for improvement. They participate in important events to connect with people with whom they want to form strategic partnerships. They travel to develop new ideas. They dedicate time for reading, for study. They take the first step, they volunteer, they give free samples, they know they can plant first to harvest later. Those who suffer from failure, they are confusing things and they spend on nonsense and they don't get any return. As they try to cut costs, they are also cutting their investments in what is important. For example, they are going to fire the good employees, saying that they cannot pay the salaries. And then their business is suffering because of a drop in the service quality and loss of customers and reputation. They refuse to take courses because they say, oh, you know, training, that's so expensive. And because of that, they don't learn what is important to thrive. Exhibiting lack of firmness. Those who succeed in life are not afraid of war. They are always looking for more challenges. They want to have more work, to be more accomplished. They are people who enjoy what they do, who wake up every day in a good mood to deliver the best possible result and help other people with their work. They are professionals who feel a genuine pleasure in serving their clients and delivering happiness for the people with whom they work. 
they are not afraid of competition. In fact, if the competition is big, that means that the market is good and therefore there are big gains ahead. Those who suffer from failure are always looking for ways to work less. This is as if there is like allergy to work and they want to figure out how to spend the day doing as little as possible without being caught. They don't like having to deal with their customers. They think that customers are always boring, always complaining, always bringing problems, always asking for discounts and asking to fix things and complaining, complaining, complaining. And every time the phone rings, they are already wondering how much of a headache it will be. They are scared by competitors because they say because of the competition, they don't have results. Pitching tantrums. Those who succeed in life can differentiate what is important and what is a mere detail. Some mistakes are part of the journey for people who are trying to accomplish a lot of things. That's normal. And when something does not happen as originally planned, they know how to ignore it, how to deal with it, and they can move forward. And when they identify a certain skill that they don't have yet, they can either invest in courses to learn about it or hire professionals to help them with those deficiencies. They're not going to take mistakes personally. They learn from them. They don't waste time on mistakes that are irrelevant. And those who suffer from failure throw tantrums all the time when something does not go the way that they were imagining and their idealized plans. They are caught up in drama saying that they uh, were counting on other people and that they were betrayed and they always have a very sad story to tell everybody in great detail to justify their lack of results. If one error happens, they cry, they make a scandal, they may be abusive and intolerant about mistakes. Even if they are the ones who made the mistakes, either they will try to transfer the blame to another person or they become angry with themselves and they have some self-esteem issues. They're always complaining about errors and thinking all the time about those mistakes. What can we do to change our behavior? There are techniques that we can apply to improve our results, either in the professional dimension, finances, relationships, love and health, all aspects of our lives. The Better New Year course includes all the exercises that you need to set your goals in an intelligent way and also with a successful mindset. You can visit the link arata.se forward slash better new year to see how to create smart strategies to get closer to your goals. Stop thinking small. Put your focus where you want to accomplish things. Identify the resources that you need and create a smart strategy. Look beyond what exists today and then you can increase your creative ability to discover the potential of things and also the potential of people. And that includes yourself. For that, please go take a look at the videos in the Better New Year course by going to arata.se forward slash better new year.